Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In today's episode, the use case we are going to try is how to check for broken links in a web page. When you're building an application, especially running an automation testing, you might want to check if the links are functional in a web page. For that, we will loop over the, all the links in the web page and then make a query and check for the response status to see if they are functional or not. That's what we are going to try today. This is part 19 of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I'll request you to kindly check out the previous episodes so that you have continuity in your learning and you master Puppeteer with me end to end. Today we are checking if any link is broken in the web page. All right, so what's the logic? We will be using the methods puppeteer.launch, browser.new page, page.goto, page.eval. That's what the main method we will be using in order to extract the links and then checking if the response comes out OK or not. With that being said, let's jump right into coding. I'll open it here. I'll close this. This was done in the last episode. I'll create a new file. So 19.js. All right. So what we are going to do, we are going to start creating first puppet here. All right. So we have the puppet here. I'm going to implement the async function and say check broken links and we'll pass a URL. Now, whenever we write async, I always encourage first to handle the error exceptions. So do the console log here, unable to check for broken links with error. All right, in the try, what we are going to do is first create the instance of browser. to await puppeteer.launch again we can pass parameters of whether we want headless to be true or false by default it's true I'm making it false so we can visually see it and then we'll create a new page and we'll say browser.new page alright so this opens up our page and then we will say await page.go to the URL Next, we are going to extract the links from the page. So we are going to say page.eval, right? And we will extract the links. So we are going to say here, find all the anchor tag links. And what do we do with that? Is anchors.map, we will map them and we will say a is equal to a href right and that should all be it so we are just extracting the href for all the links and then I'm going to have a broken links uh, array empty array and we are going to say for link of links and then we are going to check for the response so we are going to say browser wait, await page dot go to that link of that particular and we are going to pass some options and say wait until network idle right and we are going to say zero okay and maybe we can also pass timeout and say after seconds okay so essentially uh, we are just looping this links that we got from the web page and we are saying page dot go to that means try to navigate to that link okay and wait this is a network selection and check for that response so this is a critical piece now here we will check response dot status right is say greater than or equal to 400 that means that's broken right so we are going to push that 
into our array and we are just going to build each of that and I think that should be or we can just do like this status and response dot status is response dot status that's all we are capturing so so we will try and make sure that if it's going anywhere try to navigate to that link href if the status is anything of greater than or equal to 400 that means it's a broken link and that's all should be our logic once you have it what we can do next is just simply console log for now the broken link so this will give you the links that are broken links and finally we can close the browser dot close that's the logic we will need to write the logic to check if any of the link in the given web page is broken or not okay and to test it we will run the file 19.js we haven't called the method yet so let's call that check broken links and uh, as always let's pass in you can pass any uh, URL here I'm passing example.com try to at least for testing purpose don't pass a website which has too many links it's gonna take long time and if we are not really sure like say yahoo.com or something like that which has too many links it can cause problems so I'm for simple uh, running it faster I'm using example.com so node followed by the file name that's how you'll run it enter and let's see what the output could be I don't think uh, we have a link so it clicked and it was able to navigate so there are no broken links right so that means this code is working but unless if we have a, a particular web page where you want to test it you will see that list coming up as 404 or any URL that's broken okay so that's the logic again uh, just to recap we are getting all the links extracting all the links from the web page looping over the links to go over each of the link and then checking if the response status comes anything above greater than or equal to 400 that means the link is broken right so that's the logic for implementing a use case of finding broken links in a web page in the next episode we will check for elements in a page I'll show you different variations of how you can get different elements from a particular uh, in a web page whether uh, those elements are present or not etc I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're learning if you please do hit that like button subscribe and share these videos thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode